Hi guys, Annalou here from Plato Marketing and today I'm going to talk about how to create content on a budget. We're going to be covering a lot of information in this video, so if you want to see something specific like products, some other information, framing, you can check out our blog. The link is in the description below. As you know, video today is extremely important, especially for businesses. Nowadays, we consume content everywhere we go. Because we always have our phones at hand, we are always reading something, watching a video, and trying to connect. That's why creating content is so important for your business, branding, and marketing. A great way to do this and to reach out to customers, to your targeted audience, is by creating vlogs. Vlogs are great not only because you can connect with people, but you can also interact with them. So you can answer their questions, hear their concerns, get to know them a little bit better, and most importantly, share it with them. And this is amazing because vlogging is so cheap and you can do it from literally anywhere. Your office, in the kitchen, in the living room. Okay, so what do you need to make a vlog? Well, you need a camera, of course, but you don't need a super fancy and expensive camera. You can just use your phone, like I'm doing right now. And phones these days have amazing video quality and they just keep getting better and better. I'm also using a setup that I got on Amazon for like $100. Um, it's in the description below, all the products that I'm using, but you don't have to use the exact same ones. There are plenty of options out there and I just found that this is working for me right now. So let's check it out. How to assemble the equipment. First, open the tripod, place the phone holder onto the tripod. Then screw the light on top of the tripod. I love this light because it has a USB connection so you can plug it basically anywhere. I'm gonna connect it to my computer. Place your phone on the holder. For the microphone, hide the cable underneath your shirt and then clip the microphone onto your shirt. Connect the microphone to your phone. And we're good to go. Here are some tips to make your vlogs look a bit more professional. A good reference to where to position your phone is putting the camera on your eye level. So not too high, but also not too low. Do you see the space above my head? That's called headroom. And you don't wanna have too much of it, but you also don't wanna be cutting the top of your head out. You wanna have just the right amount. You want your vlogs to feel really personal. So just like when you're talking to someone, you wanna be looking them in the eyes. And you can get the same effect on the camera. You just gotta be looking at the lens and not on the screen. It can be really difficult sometimes, but it makes a complete difference when you're recording a vlog. The background also says a lot about your environment and you want it to be interesting and, you know, help you pass the message you want to say. You don't want it to be messy or distracting or like super boring. So beware of any TVs that are playing, any people trying to be nosy or any mass or trash around it. Also, know where you're going to post the video before you record it because different platforms require different frame sizes. This video, for example, I could post on LinkedIn, YouTube, or Facebook. But if I was recording for Insta Stories or IGTV, for example, I'd probably want to do it vertically. If you're posting on your Instagram feed, your best bet may be just posting square. But if you're not sure, just go with landscape or horizontally because that's the regular video format. Vlogs are a great way to communicate with people. It's a powerful tool for you and your business. It will help you connect to the community, share experiences, knowledge, and also let people know you and your company. At Pattern Marketing, everyone in our team has one of these kits, so we're always trying to create content to share with the community. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you found this helpful. Read our blog for more information and let us know in the comments down below. How would you create content for your business? I'll see you next time.